all right wonderful people welcome back to this channel where we'll bring you back to back update and information as it is hot uh, in case it's your first time of coming across our channel uh, kindly go ahead and subscribe like comment share and also remember to on your notification button so that whenever our drug drop get the bar you go be the first we'll collect them um, let's go down to the information where we say Naim bring us here. Ohane Zendi were to send emissaries to Finland, others to seek dialogue with Mazi Simon Eba, the Prime Minister of Biafra Republic government in exile over the killings that are going on in Igbo land. <laughs> um, Ohane Zendi will believe that um, somehow uh, that um, Eba has a hand in what is happening in Biafra land and they have decided to send emissaries to him uh, in order to seek dialogue. Uh, you know, I have been talking about this issue of dialogue for a long time. I've been pressing on issue of dialogue, dialogue with Eba, dialogue with them. Uh, but um, I don't know if um, the Prime Minister of Biafra Republic government in exile, Mazi Simon Eba, will be able to pay attention uh, or listen to Ohaneze Ndibo. Uh, because according to him, uh, many times that he has, you know, come up with um, uh, 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 his uh, uh, broadcast, he usually say that um, the first thing first uh, is to release his leader. And on uh, one of his broadcasts, he said that many people are saying that um, uh, him, him, Simon Eba, is not the leader now, that Kano is leading from prison. And Eba said that that is not possible. That this leadership is not even what he wants, that all he is doing is that he is his master is released from the DSS custody that that is all he is pushing, that as long as his master is released, that him, Eba, will hand over office to his master, that he, is, that he still believes uh, in the supremacy of his master over him, but his master will not be in prison and be leading. And what he's doing is holding position as a faithful disciple and deputy. <laughs> uh, I don't see as it happen, well, um, let's see how it goes uh, if uh, Eba will be able to actually pay attention uh, to what Ohaneze is saying. Meanwhile, let's go to another information where government raised man's house in Ahoda West. Government in army uniform on Saturday raised Ungalo of popular youth in Idu, a pair local government, Ahoda West local government area of River State. Chief Rufus Edi Wulu. Chief Edi Wulu, who raised an alarm over the incident, said the government were allegedly led by Comrade Andrew Mwabweze, who he recognized. Edi Wulu said he escaped when the suspect, suspected Mwabweze led gang of uniformed men drove in vehicles into his compound at about 6 a.m., barged into his house, ransacked, and carted away properties and money before setting the house on fire. According to him, property worth millions of naira were destroyed in the ensuing inferno. Addressing newsman Chief Ediwulu said, I thank God for my life today. The people came to kill me. I recognize one of them as Andrew Mwabeze from Idupe, a subcontractor of Mr. Brown who handled the surveillance contract of Aji. I cited them immediately as they entered my yard and I had to escape before they started destroying my house. What they had in mind was to kill me. Government and members of the public should ask Mwabeze what offense I have committed for him to be after my life, he pleaded. Edewulu added that the suspected soldiers had stolen his Lister generator and other property presented to his wife during their wedding. When contacted, Comrade Mwabeze Andrew, an ex leader of the community, denied the allegations. He said, he had never thought of carrying out such massive destruction against Chief Edouli, who he described as his senior brother. As a pair man, he knows where to find out the truth. He should gather the jujus 
he knows and invites me to swear for him. I cannot do such a thing when there is a seed. He stated further that if Ediwulu had any issue with the surveillance team, he should not drop him in, though I am the contractor in charge of the pipeline in my community. The tide gathered that the fire scared residents of com on the communities who were shocked that the unidentified soldiers were swift in their operation as they stormed into the house, picked up some property of their choice, threw up fire on the building, and drove away. <laughs> Uh, my people, or oh, Chatola, uh, you get one song where we they sing for my village. They say, A onye ebenebe, a onye ebenebe, a weke ebenebe, a wafo, a pu chalunenu, ebenebe no chawula chawun, ubeji lunenu, ebenebe no jigole jigwe, tibli bawulu bawulu, bambuleke achala oba ebenebe, krija oba ebenebe, a onye ebenebe. A unye ebenebe, a weke ebenebe, a wafo. A kucha lune nu ebenebe no chagula chagwa. Gubeju lune nu ebenebe no jigwele jigwa. Jigli ba ulu ba ulu ba mbuleke achala oba ebenebe krija oba ebenebe. A unye ebenebe, a weke, a wafo. A kucha lune nu ebenebe no chagula chagwa. If you grow up in Igbo land, but most of you don't know, uh, you don't know, you don't know. Uh, that is why when people like um, Ohamadike one of Ndibo, uh, he's saying, let Ndibo come home, let Ndibo have their place. Uh, some people don't understand. Uh, even though that the man, after his uh, schooling in the University of Nsuka, moved up to London, uh, lived the life of the white people. And I wonder that he still had interest um, in what is happening in his place. Uh, such a thing is rare to find. Uh, you hardly find such people around you uh, because most times, most times um, you see people doing all um, manner of things as it is. But meanwhile, as na onyejebeli jeluno, mobile ali chukuma. Ose onyejebeli jeluno, onyejebeli jeluno, ona makau. Nezo ika jomwa ne o, nezo ika jomwa ne o, mwa ne gano lu o. Aboko je beli je luna o, okolo je beli je lue mono, nuna maka. <laughs> Ona maka my people, eh, onye je beli je ya megene, eh, nyabwa ni kwa nu lue no, eh, maka no una maka. Onye ko jade mana onye me bie bie kede bo ge bi. Eh, if you look at what reverse people are doing to their place, eh, because... Uh, they had the opportunity that the Almighty oh, Chukwoka, I am a God, I am, that I am, uh, gave them a land that is flowing with oil. And because of that, they are killing themselves among themselves. The greediness of African man, uh, white people will put themselves together uh, and make sure that um, whatever they have is benefiting each and every one of them. Uh, but we are uh, Africans to reduce themselves to peanuts. Uh, before the white man in order to betray their brothers and eat it all uh, you see this issue of um uh, if you cannot beat them you join them or uh, this issue of divide and rule uh, this is what has been destroying africa and the white man understood this game and they have been playing it since time immemorial since the time of colonialism and even until now uh, people don't know that what is currently going on in africa is what is called uh, 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 what is called uh, technical colonialism because Africa is still under their colonial masters. How? Ask me how. By borrowing you money, they borrow you money, uh, they give you many things, they give you other things, and um, after that, you find out that you are still under their bondage. They give you World Bank money, uh, China borrow you money, UK borrow you money, uh, these people borrow you money, and you ask, what are you doing with this money? Why are they borrowing you the money? They are borrowing you the money because you have mineral resources that can be sucking for themselves forever. <laughs> African man, wake up. 
Meanwhile, I'm going to wind down the curtain here, and if not the first time, where they carry uh, touch light. If you know, subscribe. It means you're not you the worry you.